Hey guys, Desol back in the Nerd Cave with a quick conventions pickups video for you today. That was a mouthful. Uh, just recently went to the Monster Mania Con 56 convention. Here is the poster. Really awesome guests. You had Elijah Wood, Thomas Jane, you had Corey Feldman, you had CJ Graham, and a couple other of the Jason. So you had a little Jason reunion. There was also some Sons of Anarchy cast members there this was really cool really cool um this was the last convention that they were having at the delta hotel marriott in hunt valley they were having it at that hotel for i think maybe since the inception of the convention i'm not sure but ever since i've been going so it's kind of sad that this is the last one there um i think they're tearing down that hotel really old school kind of cool creepy hotel um that they're knocking down so uh monster mania already has a new home in maryland for the next convention that we've already pre-booked uh so looking forward to that things i guess have to move on but anyway here is the poster we did get the vip pass this year because we wanted to see Corey feldman but we got there so early the first day that we never even used our line skip passes but got a poster so so let's just jump in very quickly to some of my um, some of the things I got signed, and then we'll go into uh, some of the things I picked up at the convention. So let me just grab a couple things off camera. Sorry, not prepared. So a lot of Friday Thirteenth people were there. There was a, um, a VIP party with some of the the cast members. And someone I was really excited to see there um, was Harry Manfredini, who, you, as you know, was a composer for many of the Friday the 13th movies. And I got him to sign a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so, um, first one up, and not in any particular order, I had him sign my wax work um, edition of uh, vinyl of Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. Let's see, let me see if I could zoom out a little bit here there's my finger don't worry about that here we go it's better there we go sorry for the glare he the way he does his signature is so cool part six part four i picked all these up at a convention a monster mania convention the last monster mania convention i went to and i'm so glad i did that's really cool. He did that in blue to kind of match the handle of the knife, which is awesome. Part one. If you notice, this is the same artwork uh, that they just released the new 4K steelbook with a slip. I am not getting that. I don't, I'm not saying now I'm not getting that, but I have so many versions of Friday 13th. I have the slip cover 4K. I have the Blu-ray steelbook. It's the same exact steelbook as the Blu-ray steelbook, just with this as a slipcover. I have it on vinyl. I don't. I don't know if I need it, so I'm saying no for now. I wasn't gonna get this signed initially, but I, I'm glad that I did. And it's the lenticular 3D. I think that came out really nice. And then the last one, part five. Of course, he did it in that blue. I love the inside of part five. That is just amazing. It hurt to open these because I had these all in plastic. But listen, I want to listen to them and I needed to get them signed. So that's that. But of course, I kept all the plastic because I'm crazy. Okay, next up are a couple of mini posters. Like I said, Corey Feldman was there, so I got him to sign two things. First one up, of course, is my Lost Boys mini poster. And this mess right here is Corey Feldman, <laughs> so that's that. And then my part four. He's up here in the corner. Sorry for the glare. His pricing structure sucks, I'll be honest with you. Um, it, he charges less for you for him to um, personalize it. I guess he thinks if you're going to make money off of this, he wants to make more money off of it, but 
not everyone wants to sell their stuff. Not everyone wants everything personalized. Like, I already had this personalized. So I don't need to Dave everywhere, but you can barely see what that says anyway. And on this one, I never had it personalized, so I just ended up paying more just to get his name. Again, not looking to sell these. It's a little frustrating. And he was cool. he was a little bit of a diva, I'll be honest with you. Um, most of the time, he was arguing. Um... I shouldn't say arguing, but he was talking to his handlers about, you know, he had to go to the bathroom. He had to get the bathroom uh, cleared out before he went. He, he had to get new more ice. He had to, you know, it, it was funny. It was funny. Listen, it's Corey Feldman. I wouldn't expect anything less. Um, but he uh, he was cool when I talked to him. Uh, so that's all I can ask for, I guess. But the pricing structure kind of sucked. And there was another thing I was going to get signed that I ended up not getting signed. Like I already had the one of the Frog Brothers sign this, so I was gonna have him sign that next to it, but it just wasn't worth the almost two hundred dollars. It was just nuts, and he raised the prices the second day. So anyway, that's that. Uh, what else did I get signed? Am I missing something? Yes, two steel books. First one up. It's in the plastic. I need to take it out. Is um, Alyssa Sutherland from Evil Dead Rise was there. She was at the last convention, but since the last convention, I had picked up the Evil Dead Rise steelbook. So I had her sign it, which is really cool. Mommy's with the maggots now. Best wishes. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. She was really awesome. She was really excited to see the steelbook. <laughs> um, and she was like, yeah, what do you want me to write? I'll write anything. I'll write any quote. I'll write anything. Same price. Doesn't matter. So it was really cool. So I said, yeah, just whatever line you like from the movie. And that's what that's what she put, which I thought was really cool. And then also, um, what is her name? I'm forgetting. Oh, Sosie Bacon was there from Smile. And I had just gotten this, the steelbook for that as well. And she signed that too. And a little smiley face, which is perfect. So I thought that was kind of awesome. She was really nice as well. And that's all the signatures I got that at the Monster Mania convention, believe it or not. So now let's jump into some of the things I picked up. Of course, um, Vinegar Syndrome was there. And I always have to get a couple things from uh, Vinegar Syndrome. First one up is a partner label release. Um, ETR Media. Uh, this is a video game documentary. Sega, The Complete History, Volume 1. So that was really cool. See that? A little bit about, whoop, knocking into the camera. Next thing is Evil Judgment. And it's embossed and glossy, which is pretty cool. The, um, Friday, you know, the uh, Black Friday sale is coming up soon, but these are some items that wouldn't be on sale the, for the, um, the Black Friday sale. Just these are newer releases, and you know they give you a discount at the table. So I went ahead and just picked a couple things that I knew wouldn't be on sale coming up. So, And I only got this because Roddy McDowell's in it. I know nothing else about it. I, knew, I mean, I know nothing about any of these movies, to be honest with you. So... Arnold artwork is awesome as always so I always get like three things from vinegar syndrome and these are the three I picked up so and Severin was there and I don't usually get things from Severin but they had a sale a while ago um, and I, I missed out on uh, something I wanted to get mostly because of the slip cover. It was an alternate slip cover. The movie itself is called The Last Horror Film, but I thought the slip was awesome. Maniac 2, Love to Kill. I know this is, um, at least they said it was out of print, uh, but they had a bunch at the table. So definitely had to pick that up. Uh, 
so these are uh, all the movies I picked up at the convention. All right, so as you know, um, physical media it also includes vinyl, and um, I've recently started collecting some vinyl. <sighs> and there was a vendor there that had a bunch of cool stuff from Waxwork. Um, Waxwork is really awesome. They do a lot of good uh, artwork and releases. And there's a couple I'm missing from Friday the 13th that I almost paid stupid money for on eBay, but was told by that vendor that Waxwork is repressing a lot of them. So if you've missed out on part two, if you've missed out on part seven and eight, don't go on eBay and pay stupid prices because they're going for over $100. They will be repressing them if they haven't already. So go check that out if you need them. But talking about vinyl, this vendor was really awesome, and I picked out a couple things. First up was Reanimator. Again, let me just zoom out a little bit. Here we go. The Reanimator vinyl. You know, a lot of times I pick these up in the thoughts of, you know, the potential for getting things signed. So um, this is probably a good opportunity to get signed if I could. There I am. Hello. That is Reanimator, Evil Dead Rise. Um, I already had gotten the Steelbook sign. Didn't feel like waiting on a line again. So she's been at two of the Monster Mania conventions. So if she's at a third, cool. I'll get her to sign this. I saw a bunch of people having her sign that. And it looked awesome. So that is for the future signings. <clears throat> and last one, I had to get this. And the music on this movie is great, so I'm really actually looking forward to listening to this. And it's Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Um, because I got three, I got a pretty decent deal, like 30 something dollars each. There were some vendors there. You gotta look, you gotta be careful, right? Because you don't want to go to the first place you see, the first vendor you see. You want to walk around the convention. Because I saw a bunch of these um, at with other vendors... For a lot more money like this was seventy dollars from one of the one one of the other vendors when it was only like 40 bucks and I, like i said i got it for 30 something because i got three from this vendor i wish i remember the vendor's name um and then the reanimator still was like 35 bucks so you know walk around the conventions don't jump onto the first thing you see um i might have his card actually hold on uh, some Severin stuff that they gave me. Severin stickers. The Last Toy Store. I think that is it. The Last Toy Store dot com. Um, really cool sticker, by the way. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this was it. So if you're not able to get to a, get a convention and you want to pick up some of this vinyl or anything else, check that out. They were really cool. It was, uh, yep. The last toy store is definitely them because they gave me a bunch of stickers so i thought that was really cool support the local vendors if you can and then they also gave me the sticker too <laughs> so that's pretty cool what else did i get okay there's another vendor there i don't know the name of this vendor sorry i keep going off camera i just have to it's all over the couch um, I got, winter's coming up, got myself a Scully cap, Haddonfield Memorial Hospital, which is cool. I mean, this is under 20 bucks, and it's really nice, thick, soft hat, really good quality. And the guy was also selling, um, Lament Configurations. He had two of them, and he was selling them for 10 bucks. Look at this thing. This is like really hard, good material. I have a Lament configuration that I had signed by all the Cenobites and Clive Barker. Um, but it was just a piece of wood with the foil wrapping over it, which is good for signing because you don't have the grooves and everything. But this has texture. This is really cool. And there were two of them. One just looked like the, the square, the cube. And this one was, you know in moved in this configuration he was selling it for 10 bucks i was like you're kidding me 10 bucks the reason is because he said these are super hard he said it took him hours to get this to this position and to get it back to a cube 
will probably take a long time. He said you'd have to kind of take a mallet and get these out and sand them down a little bit because they're pretty tight. But since I already have one, here it, here it is. I already have this. Like I said, it's it's just a it's just a block of you know cube of wood um, with the foil on it. See the difference there? You know, I'm glad I have this, but if I already have this one, I'm keeping it like this. So I thought that was really awesome. 10 bucks. Came with a little stand. I think that's how it goes. Not sure. <laughs> but for 10 bucks, sit on my shelf and maybe get signed by Doug Bradley or Clive Barker is not is not a bad deal whatsoever. So and I think that's it. Oh, one more thing. I gotta unwrap it. You can probably tell what it is before I even unwrap it. I'll be right back. Okay, so there's a vendor there. I don't remember his name either. Um, he always has cool stuff. He always has like very detailed figures, like full-size ghoulies and gremlins and um, busts of um, Michael Myers, Jason, Mrs. Voorhees, and uh, he had some killer clown stuff. And yeah, a lot of his stuff is very expensive, but it's really cool and, and detailed. Um, and I always, I always look at it and I never get anything. But I saw this and this is like 30 bucks. And I thought it was really awesome. And it's uh, those little popcorn monsters from uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Look at this detail. And this is, you know, some sort of like hard resin. Look at that, huh? I think it was like 30, 35 bucks. Probably one of the cheaper items he has other than some of like the posters and stuff. But really, really cool. I think really worth the the, uh, the money. And I have so much in my man cave here, or man cave, let's be honest, nerd cave, uh, that something this small, just kind of sitting on the shelf, it's perfect the hair yeah i really really like this glad i picked this up wish i remember the name of the vendor but he's always at the um i always see him at the maryland convention and once in a while i think at the uh the cherry hill so i would check him out all right guys so um so much random stuff hard to fit in the table threw it on the futon but here's everything i picked up at the monster mania convention let me know in the comments below did you go to the convention what did you pick up don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, see you guys in Nerd Cave.